Hi, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Emma. Hi, I'm Sola. Hi, I'm Ashley. I sort of feel like a man because I've got a cold, but it's living here. This is the field. It's really big. And uh, we play lots of outdoor sports on here, including like football and rugby and cricket and rounders. Um, over there, there's a 400 meter running track where we do athletics. And we have a long, long jump pit right at the far end. But you can't see it from here, but we do have one. This is our school dinner hall. It's just recently been refurbished, so more people can fit in. It's quite modern. Um, the lower school, which is here, sevens, eights, and nines, have their dinner here at 20 past 12 till 5 past 1. In upper school, which is us here, 10, year 11, and six formers, they have our lunch at 20 past 1 or 5 past 2. This is the music and technology department. Here we do music and we have lots of instruments like pianos and guitars and drum kits. This is the main hall. We have our assemblies here and the GCSE and A level students also have our exams in this hall as well as the sports hall. And as you can see we also do some of our main sports in here including aerobics, dance and trampolining. This is the science block and it's one of the oldest blocks in the school. We do biology, physics and chemistry here. This is the RA department. There are six classrooms here and RA is a popular school as it's a Roman Catholic school. Mr. Davis, the ginger one, is our RA teacher and Mr. Clifford, the Irish one, is a psychology teacher but he's also a space here too. This is our maths department. It has eight maths classrooms in the maths office and in the corridor. And maths is the, one of the biggest parts of our school's achievements. This is our art department, there are five classrooms. We do things here ranging from drawing to clay work and photography. We took art at GCC this year, but I knew didn't because he fails at art. This is our textiles department. This is where we work with fabric to make things such as clothes. In year 7 we made a wall hanging, in year 8 we made shorts, in year 9 we made a cushion. And since I took GCSE textiles I'm currently making a top. This is the languages department. We do French and German here, and we've recently had German speaking tests. This is the geography and ICT corridor. There's four ICT classrooms and four geography classrooms. This is the school library. We can come here before, after school, and at break times and lunch times. We can come here to do homework or just chill and read some books. We also sometimes come here in lesson time with teachers to do some research and work. But remember, you've got to be quiet. This is the e-box. It is the newest part of our school. It was opened to us in 2009. It has eight classrooms and it's mainly used for maths, geography and business studies. These are the tennis courts and we can use them for more than just tennis courts. Like We use them for netball and basketball. And the school holds its um, sports competitions here, whenever we have one. And when it snows, this is usually where everybody just comes to snowball fight. What do you teach? I teach physical education. Why did you become a teacher? I became a teacher because I wanted to work with young people and I wanted to um, be involved in, my, in what I enjoy doing best, which is playing sport, teaching sport. What do you enjoy about teaching? I love, like I said before, I love working with young people in particular because I think they give you energy and they keep you, they keep you young and in yourself. Um, and I love being outdoors. Uh, one word that best describes school. Happy. One word that best describes living in the northeast. Reassuring. Okay, what do you do? Um, I'm the school chaplain here at St Thomas More. Why do you do it? Um, well, I decided to, to go for this job because I love working with kids and um, my faith plays a big part in my life, so I like sort of being able to share that with, with other people. What do you enjoy most about your job? Um, just the interaction that I get um, with young people as well as adults and being able to kind of listen to their views about faith and the world and, and help that kind of inform my own faith and just kind of a lot of sharing really. Um, one word that best describes the school? Inspiring. One word that best describes living in the North East? Fab. <laughs> <laughs> what do you teach? Uh, I'm a maths teacher. Why did you become a teacher? It was, I came into teaching late. Somebody once said to me that um, I would be quite a good teacher 
and it just stuck. So when I looked at a change in career, I went into teaching and I've loved it ever since. What do you enjoy about teaching? Um, I enjoy working with the, with the kids. The kids at our school are superb. Uh, you can have a laugh, they work hard, um, and just make life enjoyable. One word that best describes the school? Fun. One word that best describes living in the North East? Better than living in the South. Um, the people, the people are great. What do you teach? Uh, I, I teach English. Why you became a teacher? Uh, I became a teacher because I uh, enjoyed my subject so much. Uh, teaching English just allows me to enjoy my subject. And what do you enjoy about teaching? Uh, the part that I enjoy the most, I think, is uh, teaching the subject to the students in the classroom. Um, you know, no matter what mood you're in, I think that uh, a good class brings so much energy. And when you get something right, um, it, it's a great, it's a good feeling. One word that best describes school. This school, our school, uh, I would say committed. And one word that best describes living in the northeast. Lively. What do you teach? Um, I'm an English teacher. Why did you become a teacher? Um, because I love my subject, and I imagine most people say this because I like children. As well. <laughs> what do you enjoy about teaching? Um, I enjoy the fact that no two days are ever the same, and uh, that you're constantly learning on the job and learning from the students and what? from other teachers. One word that best describes the school? Um, vibrant. And one word that best describes living in the North East? Um, exciting. Hello, I am Mrs Duncan and I'm the head teacher here at St Thomas More. Um, St Thomas More is the only Roman Catholic school in North Tyneside. And we're a very large school, in fact we are the largest school with over 1,700 students here. We are a comprehensive school, which means that we have the complete range of abilities and social background of student in our school. We are a maths and ICT specialist school, which means that we pay particular attention to the development of teaching and learning in those subjects. We're also a training school, which means we have um, a particular interest and focus on the training of new teachers and the development of existing teachers, both as uh, curriculum and department leaders and also senior leaders, right up to new head teachers um, for schools. In addition, we have many partnerships with other schools um, as a leading edge school and we support them to raise achievement in their schools, particularly at GCSE. We pride ourselves in being a learning community and where students and staff continue to learn and grow. And I think one of the significant, perhaps the most significant feature of our school, which I believe makes us stand out from many other schools, is the quality of relationships that exist here. We're a very happy school. Um, and I feel very privileged and blessed to be its head teacher. <laughs> Emma. I didn't see it to record. <laughs> just continue, just continue, just continue. I'll record it. Long. Shut up. <laughs> This is the job for United This is the language This is the language Actually, I'm too hot. Can I say my god? This is our maths department. But in the corridor, it has eight classrooms. In maths, is part of our biggest. Blah, 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 blah.